Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. What's up guys, welcome back to the video. Today, I'm gonna be running down some examples of the best bulking SARMs out there right now. Keep in mind, I am not gonna be going over S23 or YK11. I don't like them as SARMs, I think they're closer to steroids. And honestly, at that point, if you're gonna take those, you might as well just jump up and do the big boy stuff. So keep in mind before you comment that I'm not gonna be going over S23 or YK11. Before you reach out to me, no, I don't know where to buy these. And it's not me just keeping information from you guys, I have literally never bought SARMs online. So if you guys are going to be wanting to buy any of this stuff we're talking about today, my best advice is to ask your local supplement store. A lot of times the local, the mom and pop stores, not the GNCs, not the vitamin shops, but the local mom and pop stores are the ones that are going to be doing a little bit of the riskier stuff. So a lot of times, even if they don't have it, they might know of another store that does. So ask your buddies, do your research online. If you find a source online, then simply vet it. Google it, read forums, all that good stuff. But as far as me, I can't give any advice on that. And like I said, it's not because I don't want to tell you guys I'm withholding anything. I have literally just never bought the stuff online. We always had it in my store and the company that we had in my store doesn't even do them anymore. So a lot of the guys are going away, but yeah, best advice, ask your buddies, do your research and ask your local supplement store. Now, before we get into this, you guys gotta know I'm not a doctor, I'm not a medical professional. This is simply my opinion on the research and the experience that I have over the years. This is for your entertainment only and what you guys do past this video has nothing to do with me. All right, number one on the list today, and I think this is the best bulking SARM available is LG. LGD 4033. LGD 4033 is going to be the best one out there to put on size, to put on strength, and just to get bigger overall. 10 milligrams a day for men, five milligrams a day for women. Take it in one dose, take it in two doses. That's completely up to you. Usually with SARMs, I like to split them up into two doses, but that's just me. You take it however it's convenient for you. Now you gotta realize also when it comes to LGD, that it is not going to always come on clean. I personally don't like LGD. When I took it, I kind of put on some fat with it. I put on a little bit of water weight with it. I didn't like that. Realize that you have a body type like me, a endomorph, that you are gonna be putting on some slop with it. So it is best to keep your diet as clean as possible. All right, second up on the list is Rad 140. This is my personal favorite when it comes to SARMs. You can recomp on it, burn fat, build muscle. You can cut on it. You're gonna get some size on it. I love Rad because honestly, it fits my body type, keeps me tight. I don't get a whole lot of water rate on it. So a lot of the weight I do put on when I do rad is extremely clean. When it comes to dosages on rad, 20 milligrams a day for men, five to 10 on women, depending on how hardcore you are. And yes, you can stack LGD and rad together. I was never a huge fan of stacking SARMs, but I have known plenty of guys that have stacked two, even three, even sometimes four SARMs together. So it's really whatever your preference is. If you are new to the SARM world, then I would maybe keep it to one or two. But if you're experienced enough and you've done plenty of them, then go ahead and do a three or four. Just make sure you know what you're doing and you're experienced with it. Now, next up on the list is MK2866. I'm just gonna throw that one out there because you can put some size on with it. So especially if you have any joint issues, MK2866 is gonna be really good for you because it will help out with the joints. I'm not a fan of it for bulking just because I believe there are better ones out there. But if you wanna throw it in with your LGD or with your RAD, you absolutely can. 25 milligrams a day for men, 12.5 milligrams a day for women. I like Osterine for kind of like a beginner. Um, so if you guys have never touched SARMs before, Osterine would be a good one to start on. It's not gonna be anything crazy. I personally don't think it holds a candle to RAD or LGD. Some guys will disagree with me, but that's just my two cents. I think it is definitely a starter SARM or a lighter SARM or for guys that just want to dabble in and uh, maybe get their feet wet with it. Like I said, if you're experienced enough and you wanna throw it in on another SARM, you absolutely can. That's completely up to you. Keep the dosage at 25 if you're a guy, like I said, 12 and a half for a female and roll with that. All right, next up, and I wasn't gonna mention this one because I'm not a huge fan of the side effect of it, which is S4. Strength on S4 and the fat burning on S4 is insane. I have taken it before, but I did personally experience the vision issues. Um, you kind of get that blue, 
tint to you like you just got a tanning bed it will mess your night vision a little bit that is a profound and a solidified effect of it so if you want to stay away from that then maybe stay away from s4 but i know guys that love s4 and i can see why if you want one that's going to be extremely dry just kind of like rad then do s4 or like i said you can stack rad and s4 together that would be an insane combo that'd be great to recomp on pending that your training and your nutrition is top notch but like i said just be aware of the side effect of it because i know a lot of guys including myself that did have that night vision issue so just be aware of that before jumping into it some guys will get into it and they don't know and they'll freak out thinking they're losing their vision but that is a side effect of it and when you come off it does go back to normal but just be aware of that before you start and you'll be fine dosages on s4 is 50 milligrams a day split it up one in the a.m one in the p.m and you are good to go and the dosages for male and female on s4 are going to be the same 50 milligrams for both s4 is not going to be one for just your kind of get your feet wet with it kind of chick um s4 is going to be for the little harder chick the chicks that are getting after it, that want to put on size that want to cut up um so just be aware if you're just kind of a newbie with it you females out there definitely don't do s4 bump down try austrian first and then go from there and see how you like that one. now this next one isn't a sarm but i love it for bulking cycles and that's mk677 that is going to be a growth hormone secretagogue it is a long-term game when it comes to mk677 but the reason why i like it in bulking cycles for one particular reason is that because it raises your appetite when i took it that's the reason why i hated it it takes your appetite out the roof so for you guys out there that want to get bigger but you struggle to eat this one would be great to throw in with lgd especially or throw in with rad or all together or however you want to do it now eventually that hunger will wear off so if you want to keep that if you like that effect if you are taking mk677 for that particular reason then go to a five and two on it take it monday through friday and then take the weekend off that way that hunger and that appetite is being refreshed because those two days off your body's adjusting back to normal you take it on monday and that appetite comes right back all of these sarms in here are meant to be ran for 12 weeks don't just buy one to be cheap and run it for four weeks it's a waste of time i would never take any sarm for less than eight weeks definitely try to push these all to 12 weeks that's what you're gonna get the most benefit out of if you run it past 12 weeks it's not going to hurt you um it's something because your receptors are going to be fried they're going to be dull so you need to come off get your receptors back to fresh for say four to six weeks and then you can jump back on now here is going to be another problem when it comes to sarms and that is your pc T. Best case scenario when you are PCTing off of SARMs is going to be, say, tamoxifen, which is known as Novadex. Then you're looking at a whole nother problem. It's not really available to buy. You gotta find someone to buy it off of, and then it just becomes a whole nother ordeal. I do believe that is one problem when it comes to SARMs. I believe SARMs are very suppressive. I have done blood work before and after SARMs, and I've known friends that have done blood work before and after SARM, and they are suppressive. You see sometimes a 50% reduction. Now, the good thing Thing about SARMs, the suppression of SARMs, is you do bounce back a lot faster. But that doesn't take away the fact that they do suppress you. They do slow down your natural endocrine system. So just be aware of that before you get into it. You probably heard in my original SARM video to do like an over-the-counter test booster because it really is like the best case scenario for something that's readily available. But it's still not ideal. It's going to help a little bit. So if you do go the test booster route, just find a good one and don't pay more than 50 or 60 bucks for it. Like I said, a nova farm stage one um, is the best one i've seen and that's still best case scenario when it comes to test boosters they are what they are um, they surely aren't meant to do anything revolutionary and they surely aren't meant to spend more than 50 or 60 bucks on so be aware of that but i'm out of here guys i appreciate you watching i appreciate you supporting as always AnchorFitness.com, meal and training plans. Hit me up if you want to work with me. FinalBossPerformance.com, Inc. 10, saves you 10%. But at the time you guys are watching this video, I am on a cruise right now, so I'm enjoying myself. I will have Wi-Fi if you guys want to sign up for me, so don't worry. We can always do it when I'm out there. I'll be working every day, regardless of me being the Caribbean or not. But thanks, guys. I appreciate you. I love you, and I will see you at the next video. See you guys.